Welcome back, Sammy and Ryan. Still with us, pub goers and social media users have been left stunned by the ex extortion extortionate price <laughs> of pints in a Melbourne pub. The online outrage was sparked after a picture of two large glasses of alcoholic ginger ale had been shared to Reddit with this disgruntled user saying they were set back a whopping $42. Wow, for just two glasses of alcoholic ginger beer. Ryan, uh, you're in Melbourne. What are your thoughts on the price of pints in your city? Well, apparently the pubs are struggling in the city on a Friday night because lots of people are working from home still, right? So pubs are struggling to make lots of sales and cover their costs. So they think charging more money is going to help them cover their costs and keep the pubs alive. But I think if pubs start charging this much money, no one's going to go to the pub and they're going to die even faster. So I think they need to uh, recheck their strategy. But I did notice on the Reddit post the top comment asked, was it an alcoholic ginger beer or just like a regular ginger ale? And I think we can all agree if it's for two of them $42, unless there are diamonds in the ginger ale, it doesn't matter what sort it is, it's way too much and no one's going to go out and buy it. Yeah, because what's that, $21 each? You get a cocktail yeah. for that. Well, You'd that, hope so. Do you know <laughs> what? Am I the only person not actually shocked by this? I mean, I live in the inner city of Sydney, so maybe... I pay on average 19 to 20, 21 dollars for a glass of wine at any bar or pub or restaurant I go to, which is why I don't go out as much anymore. So this is alcoholic ginger beer. It's like a cocktail, mm. right? I guess that's what they're saying. Cocktails are now 25, 26 dollars. It's shocking. Yeah, but at least you mix, you're mixing them, <laughs> and there's a bit of an extra thing, and there's maybe a couple of shots of alcohol. Look, I, so I agree. Alcohol, I agree. Alcoholic ginger beer, opening a can and tipping it in. It's offensive at any level, but it's not shocking to me. Do you know what was shocking to me recently? I got reverse bill shock. I was at a little pub in Bellingen, which is just inland of Coffs Harbour on mm -hmm. the central New South Wales coast. I went to the, the federal, the pub there, ordered a glass of wine. It was $9. And I went, are you missing a one here somewhere? <laughs> like, I haven't paid $9 for a glass of wine in a long time. And it's no... No surprise that record numbers of people are leaving capital cities and yeah. moving to our regional centres. Was it, it, was a, it was delicious. <laughs> I may have ordered a second, Kylie. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy's like drinking. Sammy's drinking the wrong kind of wine. I reckon. I, come to come around to our area, Sammy. I get three bottles for nineteen dollars. <laughs> I reckon so. All good. It's, it's cardboard bottles. It's um, it's uh, the sixty-four dollar question, isn't it? You don't go out because it's too expensive. Don't go out and because people aren't going out. They're having to charge more prices to get the, It's just it's never ending hmm. circles. I don't know what the next dinner is. party at your house, Larry. Well, definitely not at Kylie's because she mixes cocktails <laughs> like this. So, yeah, absolutely. Everyone around my house. Look at this. Look at this. Thanks, guys. Shake, 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 shake. <laughs>